Not long ago, Sony announced that the ability to purchase new items from the PlayStation Network would be removed from the PlayStation 3, PSP, and PS Vita. There's a vast wealth of gaming goodness out there though, and with no word at this time of the possibility of being able to purchase those items to play on the PS4 or PS5, it seems like they might just be lost to the mists of time. The items we've purchased can still be downloaded, so there's no loss there, but I thought I'd highlight a few games that you might want to check out and possibly grab for yourself before the doors are closed on the PS3 July 2nd and the Vita on August 27th. Minis were an interesting experiment. They were generally small indie games meant primarily for the PSP, but the same games were fully playable on the PS3 as well, making it easy to pick up and play on the go or curl up in front of the TV. One that really stood out to me was Where Is My Heart by Digut Fabric. It's a puzzle platformer with a mind-twisting bend. Each game level is split into panels of visible field, but not necessarily arranged in... Uh, order. It's a cute little title with a great gameplay idea that you should definitely try if you're a fan of puzzlers. Switching to the PSP, I've chosen a space shooter title called No Gravity The Plague of Mind. If you're familiar with the Colony Wars series on the PlayStation, you'll find a good home here with smooth and flashy graphics that are honestly some of the best on the platform. And that's saying even more considering the story behind this game. It was originally created as homebrew and distributed freely before the developer decided to put some extra spit and polish into it for an official PSN release. Brings to mind some of the Net Yorose titles like Devil Dice from the PlayStation days. On the PlayStation 3, there are a few unusual games that I like to talk about when someone asks me what they should try on the console. 3D Dot Game Heroes is my main go-to, but one that only got a digital release was Tokyo Jungle. Well, okay, it got a physical release in Japan, and it was part of a Best of PlayStation Network compilation elsewhere that's going for hundreds on eBay, so digital it is! Anyhow, it's sort of a survival game that takes place in a modern-day post-apocalyptic Tokyo where you take the role of an animal trying to eat, explore, and breed their way through life. You can unlock a ton of critters to choose from, and there is actually a story revealed of why the world is as it currently is that is... batty to say the least. For the Vita, I'm going to go with one of the more unique titles on that platform as well, Open Me. The initial download is free and contains a few puzzles, but you can still buy the remaining packs as of now. It uses the back-facing camera to view a card with a sort of QR code on it 
that helps ground the on-screen puzzle box to the real world. Though you can easily find those card images online to place on your phone or a tablet. Each stage consists of a puzzle box you need to open by using the Vita as a sort of scanner, touching the screen to turn knobs or pull levers to get inside. Lastly, we turn to the PlayStation Classics. Since at this time they're conspicuously absent from PlayStation Now, these will be disappearing as well. And while every one of them can be found on physical media, that physical media can be really damn pricey. My absolute favorite platform game, Klonoa, is available for $10 on the PlayStation Network, but goes for a solid $70 or $80 loose on the open market. Between this and the likes of Tomba, the Misadventures of Tronbon, and Suikoden, you're well served to pick up a bunch of these for a steal before your only recourse is to pay through the nose on eBay. I'm still holding out hope that more backwards compatibility will make its way to the currently active consoles, but in the meantime, I intend to grab a few more items I may have missed before I lose the chance for good. Hopefully you've gained a new appreciation for some of these creative entries on the PlayStation Network as well. Got any favorites you'd like people to know about before it's too late? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Tesseract Unfold. Meanwhile, like, subscribe, spread the word, and I'll catch you again in the next video.